Yes. You know, it's so nice to have these smallmouth really smack the crankbaits. And you can get smallmouth in less than three feet of water feeding around the reeds. You could throw plastic. You know, I'm sure um, that using some of the paddle tail swim baits would work well. And also some worms rigged like wacky worm. But um, I just love casting crankbaits because it calls them from a distance. Let's see if I can get this guy in the net. Nice smallmouth. Look, this is what we're talking about. If you come up here to Lake Huron, you know, I kind of get spoiled because I do a lot of fishing in Lake Erie and uh, also in Lake Simcoe for smallmouth. But up here, there's very few people that fish all these bays, especially in the shallow water. So you can come up and it's great for the whole family. There's lots of stuff to do. Look at, isn't that a nice smallmouth? Gorgeous fish. He had both hooks in his mouth. You can see he's just got one left there. But this is what we're talking about. And that crankbait, that's that dive two, and it's the four. So we're fishing in water that's less than four feet deep. Right now we're in two and a half feet of water. And this guy just came out and socked it. So I'm just gonna get the hook out. Okay, this guy fought so well. You know, this G3 is so nice because it's deep, but it's not too deep. Now, can you see the reeds? There's lots of water down there. We got about uh, two to three feet of water. I just wanted to get right it up and look at them go right down into the reeds. 